Poor Kyoko never stood a chance. Up oh, winning nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Skip B chapter 303. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos and in the fast about a second, I'm talking panic attack, migraine, just in half a speed, levels of struggle up in ya. Seriously, I'm struggling to keep a roof over my head. It is that bad. But, 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 but if you love what we're doing, I'm going to help keep this channel alive and kicking. Feel free to hit up my cash up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, hi, kitties. Last chapter of Skippy, just like this kitty here. Suraga knows what to get, what he wants. Yes. And I know all of us, well, a good chunk of us would want to be princess carried by Suraga down the stairs. Oh, I would love it. But Kyoko, what is your problem? Why do you not want to be princess carried by him? I don't get it. I don't. But anyways. My mouthy kitties. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this month. Kitty, relax. And this chapter is titled Aerolink. Ah. The circumstances where um, Momoji overlapped with me, I was able to affirm that I am the only one who could express the feelings of Momoji realistically. To me, Momoji is my clone. Um... Shizuma-sama is the person, uh, personification of Suraga-san. Who is the person Suraga-san is, re uh, is really thinking of even after knowing the truth? Mysteriously, it never changes. Yes, because it never changed. It's become too much to handle. An indescribable sense of loss. Wait, what? Hmm. It's also wrong to say that I, can, I can't get out of my role. Um, to say that a big hole opened in my, um, in my chest, rather... Even though the soul still remains in this world, the feeling of complete emptiness on losing the flesh uh, flesh body, living and thinking that I'd never be able to meet Tsuraka-san again. Fear, oh, that's what she's thinking. Fear, cold, sadness, anyway, just empty. I couldn't stop my tears at this feeling that can't be explained in one word. Why were you relieved to see Tsuraka-san living and moving? Wait a minute. Did Tsuraka-san die without me knowing it? <laughs> Um, shouldn't it be, wait, shouldn't it be, uh, the survival, um, uh, confirmation of, uh, Momoji that <laughs> died, oh my god, um, that's right, I know it's a contradiction, and now I know that it is weird, at that time I just wanted to watch over him, if I could just secretly confirm from the shades that Suragasan is living in this world, I feel like that alone will save my body and heart with a sense of satisfaction, huh? Could it be this is how a bounded ghost feels? A uh, forever bound in this world? Well, every oh, oh my god. No. That's just how a wifey feels. It is. Like, you're worried about him constantly. You just, you just worry. Oh, well, I would be worried especially for her because in Tsuraka-san's case, because you don't know. You don't know what type of fans he has. These fans are probably, there's some psycho fans up in his group. Um, well, everyone has their own circumstances. There may be such a person among them. How pitiful. It, how pitiful. It's still, um, oh, it's still living hell after dying. Oh, God. Kyoko, you are just too pure, aren't you? Um, getting hurt over a bounded ghost you've never met? Uh, can you do it, at, um, after matching the promised dancers? I don't understand. Why that reaction? Eh? What? Um. Oh my god. You saw that gossip article about Tsuraga-san, right? Yeah. Eh. I understand. Um. God, some of this writing is really small and it's bugging the hell out of me. Okay, screw this up. I want to make sure I read this right. I don't understand. Um, why that reaction? Eh? What? And this is earlier. You saw that gossip article about Suraka-san, right? Eh? I'll confess everything. Um, 
listen carefully, okay? Oh, eh, what? Why listen? All right, eh, what? Why English? There we go. Uh, let's see. Kitty, calm down. We're being an asshole. Then let's do the answer matching tonight. Um, I wonder if that's wonder if it's true. Yesterday's answer matching. Sorry, I hadn't seen me uh, again today for uh, for that. If it's true, oh, hold on a second. Stupid thing. Last night's promise to an um, uh, answer matching. After Momoji's death scene, with this and that, I was half bound. I completely forgot that promise. My kitties. You forget every promise, kitty. You want to be a pain in my ass, don't you, cat? You keep promising you won't do stupid shit while I'm recording, and you keep doing it. I love you anyway, you know that? Yeah, I love you, kitty. Go, oh, go do what you need to do. After Momoji's death scene with this and um, that, I was half bound. I completely forgot that promise. Remembering the way uh, to um, uh, Daramaya, uh, Daramaya in uh, Suraka san's car. No! And it, it is awkward to just apologize to today's flow of meeting and talking. Um, I was prepared to be rejected if she was not interested anymore. I was surprised she ca uh, that she came. The secret, uh, secret story, um, optimal intuition. Or, sorry, secret story, optimal inst um, institution, optimal room, yeah, let's go. Uh, and uh, Optimal room and uh, talk companion. In other words, I'm right to say that you called. Uh, written, written memo from uh, listening. Let's see. Um... Uh, to evade the news about the uh, hand holding with uh, hand holding date with Kanasan, yeah, I I still don't know. Then why were you shy and fidgeting when you saw that gossip article? No, um, because I didn't want to make you uneasy to get a phone call explaining the truth. It's like having this special relationship. Uh, when I think about that, I get embarrassed and ticklish. Wait, what? What was that? <laughs> Embarrassed? You guys, you're not dating? No. Y yeah. <laughs> Why? That, that thing with Morizumi, whatever her name is, was your misunderstanding, right? Y yeah. After that misunderstanding, shouldn't there be a confession based on the flow? Yeah. Then, no. Well, then why? No, wait. Wait. Do you think I... Did you think I wasn't told let's go out or something? Uh, oh, God. Um, oh, I'm going to say that. Uh, yeah, let's go out wasn't said. I knew it. Y you know, I want to put it on hold for now. Um, uh, we talked about it and decided. Suraka-san seems to have some inevitable circumstances. Inevitable? What kind of circumstance? What the fuck? What do you mean it's what kind of circumstance? <laughs> do you mean by you, you don't know inevitable circumstances woman are you fucking high seriously <sighs> you believe in that isn't that a cliche of a uh, playboy who doesn't want to be tied down because i know a bit of it those circumstances uh, although i'm just guessing uh is that so well if this kid is okay with it then i won't say anything Dumbass! Doesn't look like she's being used like that time with Fu show. No, she ain't being used. I swear to God, if you said that to Ren, that he she was being used like show by his ass, oh my God, he would be furious. If anything, I should be evaluating if they will become uh, monkeys relying on the instincts of a minor partner. Oh my God! <laughs> If put on home means this girl has matured as a working person, this is a uh, common sense and proper attitude, right? Yes. This is. This is the right way of thinking. Besides, it helps me keep my peace of mind. 
I've never had a relationship with a man before. Ah, that's why for a show is her first one. <laughs> that is funny. Imagine Mokosan, an easygoing hiker who goes on a picnic without any equipment. Oh, oh, what good weather! Feels good! Suddenly, um, uh, thrown into a situation on Everest with heavy snowfall and told to climb. You die, I'll die. Like, what the fuck kind of analogy is this? That's a that's at a hyperbole level, level of a metaphor. Like, what the actual fuck? You know, I understand. I understand what she's going for with this. You do, but woman. Woman! I wish you would have just said it. Hold on, let me read this again. Easygoing hiker goes on a picnic without any equipment. Sully throw it into a Okay, this is a good <laughs> This actually is a good now I'm thinking about it, this actually is a good metaphor for this. Not maybe on the hyperbole side, but god, this is. This is actually a good metaphor. It is. For, it, it needs to, now I'm thinking about it. really it needs to be on the hyperbole side of things. It really does. You die. I'll die. I should first prepare what should be prepared in, in order to be, uh, become someone qualified to challenge Everest. I am so proud of Kyoko for this. I'm so goddamn proud of this woman for this. see okay that says yeah project route members here we go um if you challenge the highest peak that's the minimum attitude right um that's great she understood when facing the highest peak no matter how much preparation and equipment you have it it is not enough a catastrophe engulfing everything around if you relax for even a moment what Speaking of the highest peak, that thing Mokosan spoke of, uh, I haven't heard it. Um, see, yesterday's about the meeting, um, about me, uh, yesterday's about meeting the people related to the movie. How was the result? Although I know, um, uh, who she met, excited. Yay! I didn't hear the details from, uh, Kurosaki-san. After this, I'm going to, um, have a, um, an interview with, uh, uh, Konanami-san. My guest is an executive, uh, the person who is in charge of the movie. An official, uh, offer came to Moko-san! Yay! Well, I wonder if the result is like that. I knew it! I was wondering if, um, yes, I'm wondering, I was wondering if, uh, uh, that was the case. Congratulations, Moko-san! Um... The first step of uh, Connie's name becoming known to the world. Look forward to that day to hear best English conversation. Mokosan? What? What? Supposedly, um, getting our hands on a ticket to route project, uh, the reason for the shadow, uh, showing, um, shown only to Kyoko. What? What? What's going on, girl? Why? What? But I'm gonna say this in regards to Kyoko's line of thinking here. Usually, for everything but love, that is the right way to go. I completely agree with her. I do, but because usually when it comes to love, you just got to go with the flow. You do. Um, there are certain situations where it's a little bit different. Like with my situation, it's different, obviously, uh, because of my very extremely traumatic situation. 
Yeah. When your previous previous relationship ends with your partner dying, yeah, you're gonna have to like build yourself back up again and prepare to go into another relationship with knowing yourself and and building and um being ready, emotionally ready. And also physically ready to an extent to get into this because it's going to be extremely hard. But in Kyoko's case, it's very different. Like, if I was in Kyoko's position, well, when I was in Kyoko's position, um, when, it, when I was in my first relationship, shit, even when I got into my relationship with Brian, I just went with the flow. I didn't prep for shit. I just did it. I just went, went uh, especially with Brian, I just went with the flow. With my first relationship, did I do that much prep? Well, unless you're talking about like getting to really know the person and then getting into the relationship. Yeah, there's that too, which I think is very important. Knowing the person you're getting into the relationship with and like have knowing them as a friend first, before diving in, I think is very important. It really is. It makes a stronger relationship. I've had both my relationship. Well, first relationship though. The first one didn't last that long. It lasted for about three months, but we ended up being for, we, well, that, that relationship is complicated. My relationships are dysfunctional. Oh, God. But there's one thing with the first relationship, though. He did not know how to handle me. Because I come with baggage anyway. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's get back to Kyoko's situation here. But Kyoko is not only, like, in her... Kyoko is kind of damaged in a way because she dealt with getting taken advantage of. So she's emotionally, like vulnerable and damaged in a way so there's that so she's that's one way of you know kind of her having to prepare for this but it's not only that you're, you're looking at who she's with she is with some she's with someone who is um, a celebrity uh like an a-list celebrity world famous celebrity she has to get be prepared to deal with a lot of scrutiny and a lot of judgment. She's gonna. She has to be ready for that shit, and be ready to deal with the paparazzi. Be ready to deal with psychotic fans. That's hard. That is very hard to do, and that's very. Um, that takes its toll on someone mentally, and she's not ready for it yet. And also, she wants to make sure she has a name for herself build her own name so that way she doesn't get hired just because she is Suraga's girlfriend. Nah, she wants to have her own name first, which I think is actually really smart. So I understand, especially challenging the high, um, I understand what she's saying here for herself. It really, for a challenge in the highest peak, you gotta be prepared, oh, for her? For challenge in the highest peak, she wanted to make sure she's mentally ready to take on the world, because again, the world's gonna be like uh, scrutinizing her, and she wants to be, she wants to be worthy not just of him but of herself too, and have a name for herself. So I think, I think it's pretty smart. I do, and. Also, remember, Subraga is feeling that way, too. He wants to make sure he feels worthy of her. And right now, I, I think he's he doesn't, in a way. But I'm very curious what you guys think of Kyoko's line of thinking. I actually do like her line of thinking here. And can you guys relate to Kyoko in that way? Not the celebrity aspect, but, but like, especially, like, with me getting preparing to go into another relationship especially with how my uh, especially with how mine ended it tragically ended with how you got to prepare emotionally to get in 
to get into it. It's just very, very difficult. So I understand. It's poor Kyoko, though. She's She's been through it. Girl has been through it. But what is going on with Moko, though? Something going on. Something going on with Moko. But you know what? Something going down. Something going on with Moko. Hopefully she got it. But, like, the thing is, as I said with uh, Kyoko's line of thinking, it's just not for relationships either. It's for life, too. And you could make the argument that you got to mentally do this. prepare Mentally prepare for the worst. Because if you don't mentally prepare for the worst, oh, when life hits you hard, it hits you really hard. I'm just saying. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Kinsink if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more skip beat content. Any ways you can do that? Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdy Kins, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.